What's going on everybody? This is Jay from Maji and Jay. Today in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the King Zone Z1 that I got from the website gearbest.com. And if I remember correctly, I paid exactly $209 for this model and I have to say that it is a total beauty. A few months ago, I would say that almost 10 months ago, I unboxed and reviewed the K1 and the K1 was very similar in specifications to the Z1. However, we do have some extras like a new total redesigned body. We also got a metallic frame as well. And we do have the MTK6752 together with a fingerprint scanner. So this phone is going to be absolutely exciting. So here without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right at it and see what we got inside of the package. And as you guys can tell, I chose DHL. It is the best method here for the USA and what I like about Gearbest is that they protect your device very well. So here this cardboard box is going to be plain. Um, I guess this is only for protection purposes. Then inside we should have the beautiful King Zone Z1 guys. This model here is going to be very, very nice and attractive. It is not the cheapest phone out there in the market, but I have to say that sometimes you get what you pay for. So this is one of those models that are very impressive. Also, we're going to have NFC and OTG support on this phone. So here now we got the box of the King Zone. On the front, we're going to have the King Zone logo together with the model. We can see that this is a 5.5 inch display. On the side, we just have the King Zone logo once again. Here we have some more information about the device with a QR code. I'm assuming that this is so that we can either download an application associated with King Zone. Now taking a look on the back of the box here, we're going to see that this phone is running right now the MTK6752 Octa-Core. It is a 64-bit processor. It is a 4G LTE device, but here in the USA, we're going to get 3G with AT&T and T-Mobile. It comes with 2 gigabytes of internal RAM and 16 gigabytes of internal storage, and the display is what they call the LTPS Retina Display. It is OGS and it is 5.5 inches HD with a resolution of 1280 by 720 pixels. It is ultra thin, only measuring 7.5 millimeters, so this is going to be a very thin device and also comes with a humongous battery of 3500 power milliamps. This is crazy. And then also the camera is going to be a 30 megapixel Sony sensor. On the front we have an 8 megapixel sensor with autofocus, so this phone is very interesting already. On the bottom here we can also find that it comes with NFC, Wi-Fi, GPS and so on. So here let's go ahead and break the seals and see what we got inside of the box. And I believe I got the black color model, I'm not sure yet. And yes, this is the black color model. So here we're going to have the device itself. I'm just gonna put it aside. So that way you guys can see what comes inside of the box. And here we're going to find a five volt charger. This is the European kind. Unfortunately, we don't have the uh, United States uh, version. So here we can see the voltage information. It is a five volt charger. So it's going to be just a standard one. Then inside here, we're going to find the earphones and the earphones are the kind that I like. So I might test these and on the review video, I'll be confirming with you guys how good they are. They are made by the company King Zone, as we can tell right there. And then we got here the USB cable. Uh, this is the just the standard micro USB, very nice. And again, it's made by the company. And then finally, we got here the OTG wire so that we can connect mice, keyboards, and many other accessories. This is very important. Uh, we got here a case this time. This is very cool. We got a rubberized case. Let's go ahead and take a look at it and see how it looks. And wow, guys, I do like these cases. And I think it's included for free because I didn't ask for it. So that's cool. Then also inside of the box, we're going to find the 3500 power milliamp battery. It is a 3.8 volt and it does feel, I mean, I would say it's kind of heavy, but it's thin at the same time. So there we have it for the battery. We do have uh, some other stuff inside here, like a screen protector. And for those who know me guys, I do love screen protectors and accessories because here in the USA, it's going to be very limited. So now I know that I can protect the device from day one. And then finally here, we're going to have the instruction manuals. And I think one of them is going to be the warranty guide, but this is the quick start guide and it comes very well detailed and in English. So that's great for those who like to read them. And then finally, inside of the box, we're going to have the warranty card. This is very, very cool. And for the first time, I see here that it comes in English. This is very interesting. All right, guys, so now let's go ahead and clean this up and jump back to the phone. And now with this baby in my hands, let's go ahead and take it out of this protector. And the first thing we're going to find on the front is the 5.5 inch display LTPS OGS. It has a resolution of 1280 by 720 pixels. And we can see guys that it is almost edgeless here on the sides. It's going to be very thin and the phone already feels very nice in your hands. And that's because on the edges, it's going to be very thin. I have to say that this is one of the most beautiful devices that I have seen in 2015. This phone is absolutely gorgeous. 
on the back, you're going to have this uh, rough type of uh, feel that when you grab it, it feels like you're grabbing the device very nice and tight and that it's not going to fall off your hands even though we have a humongous 5.5 inch display. On the top, you can see here that we have the air gesture sensors together with the proximity and light sensor. On the right side here, we're going to have a notification LED light with the 8 megapixel sensor camera and the ear speaker. We also got that 4G LTE logo on there. On the bottom, even though we can barely see it, we're going to have the menu key, the home key, and also the back key with a total new design, something that we have never seen before. On the left side of the phone, we find here a metallic frame together with the volume rockers up and down. On the top, we're going to have the charging slash data port, and this phone is going to support ODG together with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Then here on the right side of the phone, we're going to find the power button. We can see here that we also got the same metallic frame all the way around the device. Then here on the bottom right, we can notice guys that we do have some sort of sensor. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I'll be confirming that with you guys on the review video. On the bottom here, we're going to have the main microphone with a very different design here on the bottom because the speaker or the loudspeaker is going to be located on the back. Now taking a look at the back, we can see we have a 30 megapixel sensor with the LED flash. We also got a fingerprint scanner. Now I do like the back finish, it's very nice and it doesn't feel like it's bothering your hands. It's actually very nice and grabby. And here we can see we got the Kingzone logo with some information underneath it. So this is very nice guys. I mean this device is absolutely gorgeous. I am super excited and I thought I was going to get the white color version for some reason and I was a little bit disappointed but no I got the black with gold. So here let's go ahead and take a look at the back and let's see exactly what we have inside of the phone. Now with the back cover opened up you can notice here guys we have the NFC antenna and it does connect here directly to the motherboard. This is a dual SIM dual standby device and on this sticker we can confirm the model the Z1 made by Kingzone. And we can see guys that the build quality seems like it's very nice and solid on this device. It doesn't feel cheap whatsoever. On the bottom we're going to find a loudspeaker of some kind. It seems to be like it's a little bit small. Maybe it's running along the bottom here. So we really have to confirm that on the review video. But for right now let's go ahead and install here the battery and see if it has any juice. And now that we got the battery installed, let's go ahead and remove the screen protector on the front of the device and see how the display looks. It seems like it's going to match uh, with the remaining of the bezel, but we're not sure yet. This is quite challenging already. And here it comes. So here guys, we're prompted with the display of the device. And as we can see, when it's off, it's matching perfectly well with the remaining of the bezel, making it seem like one piece, at least here from the edges. This is very interesting. Of course, let's go ahead and turn it on and see what kind of blue logo we are going to be prompted with. Uh, here we have that King Zone tiny little logo, and it seems very nice and bright. Wow, guys, this thing is an absolute beauty. For many time, a lot of us were looking for a device that is affordable and at the same time, it has great build quality. I really can't wait to put my hands on this baby and test it and see how well it's performing. And this is also scheduled to receive the Android Lollipop 5.0. So here we have the lock screen. On the lock screen, it looks very similar to Kingston devices. We do have the quick toggle to access the dialer to unlock it or just access the browser. In this case, we're going to unlock it. And then here we find the UI. It's very similar to Color OS. Uh, here we're going to find all the applications that we have on the app tray. I can already see their Play Store. Uh, we do have Gmail, Google Maps, so everything is already installed on the system so we don't have to worry about customizing it or rooting it in order to get those installed. Uh, we got here the camera. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. And the camera guys, wow. It appears to be a very nice quality. Right now here, even though it doesn't appear to be because I'm editing the video and so on, I am in a little bit of low light, so let me go ahead and try to shoot a picture here to the box and see how good it is. There we go. Uh, let me open the picture itself. And then here guys, we can notice already that the focus is quite impressive. I mean, this is crazy. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is absolutely amazing. Wow, the focus and the overall colors appear to be very nice and natural. Then here on the bottom, we're going to find the menu key, the home key, and the back key. They light up very nicely, something that we have never seen before. I do love this design. And the combination with black and red make it seem very nice and elegant. Wow, guys, this phone is unbelievable. Let's go ahead and check here on settings, and let's see what kind of operating system we have here. Let's go into About Device, and here we can confirm the yes, it is the Android KitKat 4.4.4. So again, it is scheduled to receive the OTA for Lollipop. 
So yes guys, this is going to be a very powerful device with a lot of amazing specifications. We do have the fingerprint scanner. Let me see if I can find the settings for it uh, so that maybe I can start adding my fingerprint here on this video. So yes, here we have the fingerprint scanner. Let's go ahead and uh, slide my finger on the back and we can see that the UI is very similar to the Samsung Galaxy S5. So let me go ahead and continue. It appears to be very, very sensitive. So far, I haven't had any uh, mismatch. So here I am recording my index finger. Wow, this is wow, this is amazing, guys. I mean, I never thought it was going to be so accurate. Uh, let me go ahead and put in a password, the one that I usually like to do. Uh, let me just go ahead and put one, two, three, four, continue. Let me see here. And it must contain at least one letter. Let's just put the letter A on there. Continue. Uh, one, two, three. Oops, let's go back once here, four, letter A, and OK. There we go, so let's select here OK, and let's select uh, finger lock. Let's go ahead and lock the device, and let me see if it's prompting me, and yes, it is prompting me here to slide my finger, so let's go ahead and do that. And yes, guys, it is reading it perfectly well. Let me try my other finger, the one I didn't record, and let's see if it's working. So there we can see that it is not recognizing it. This means that this is going to be 100% real. Let me just do the one that I did. And yes, guys, the fingerprint scanner is working on this device. I am very excited. And of course, I'll be bringing the review video very soon. Like always, if you guys do have any questions, please don't forget to comment down below. The link of this product has also been provided below. And make sure you guys check for any coupons available. There might be some. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys on my next one.